You hate ads? I hate ads. You know what I like? Patreon.com slash Inkdependence keeps this blog ad-free. <laughs> Hello folks, welcome to Inkdependence. I'm Mike, and this is the ink we're talking about today, which is a collabor- collaboration between Kiwi Inks, which is a uh, an ink company that you can find over at ink, uh, KiwiInks.com, and then Hippo Noto, which is known for their... Uh, thick notebooks made of Tomoe River and all kinds of things like that. Uh, and this ink is actually, I think, very cool. Hipponoto has done a few other collaborations. They did a couple with Robert Oster, and I've shown those on this channel. And uh, this is the first one with Kiwi Inks, version one. Comes in this little bottle, which is a 30 mil bottle. Has a little bit of a belly on it. It's got this fun label on which they have obviously swabbed some of the ink. And then this fun custom logo for Hippo Noto with a hippo and a kiwi on its nose. Adorable. Also, the lid on this is, uh, I think, or rather the, the opening. I mean, the lid, who cares? But the opening is big enough, I think, to put in uh, whatever p- fountain pens you would like. And as you can see here on the side of the bottle, this is going to be a pretty heavy sheener. Uh, as you can see, all that green sheen right there. But I haven't had any little shards fall off, uh, at least not yet. So... Uh, pretty good. All right. What, is this, what does this look like on paper? Well, it looks like this. Uh, this is my Galen leather writing board. This is my Rhodia pad that I use for all these ink reviews. And uh, this is the ink. And as you can see, it's actually pretty hard to tell what the base color is because there's so much going on. So this ink is uh, basically a magenta. And we'll see that. Actually, let's see. Can we see a little bit better here? A little bit better here on this, uh, this Colodex card. The base color is actually right there. This is one of those heavy sheening and shimmer inks where the base color is not super important, it turns out, because you're not going to see a whole lot of it. Um, but uh, it is a sort of a magenta, shades from like a light pink into a sort of, a, well, a magenta, frankly. And then you have over that gold sheen, which you can see all around the edges of this swatch here. Uh, and then also, as you can see in there, a whole bunch of shimmer which I think is pretty darn cool. Uh, you get this like uh, silver shimmer. Oh, it's blue shimmer. I take that back. Sorry, blue shimmer in this one, which is neat. You don't see a whole lot of different colors of shimmer. You usually see like gold or silver or something like that, but this has blue. And so it tints the whole thing sort of gold and blue with a little bit of purple in there. Pretty neat color. Uh, now, as for what I've been using this in, I've actually been using it in this pen, which is a tactile turn gist. This is a uh, white Delrin. And uh, I quite like this pen, and it has in it a Nemosyne 0.6 millimeter stub, which is a great nib if you can find these. Um, I really like these a lot. Got this, uh, this actually came in this pen. I got it secondhand. Uh, but you can get these nibs over at uh, Birmingham Pen Company, I believe. And uh, this nib is, uh, it's a pretty average flow, I believe. Maybe slightly on the wet side, but pretty average, really. And the flow, I think, on this is a very nice medium flow. I haven't had any hard starts. Uh, I haven't had it, you know, stop up because of the shimmer or anything like that. This is an ink that should be too complicated to work, and yet it works really well. I haven't had any problems with it from this uh, 0.6 millimeter stub, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I sort of put it in here sort of on a whim because sometimes stubs can run a little bit on the dry side and that sort of thing. Uh, and sometimes it can be hard for an ink like this to really um, you know, work well in one of these kinds of stubs, but no problems here at all. I did have some mild feather and bleed on the uh, crappy 20 pound 30% recycled copy paper. You can see a few feathers uh, here and there in the text there and you can see a little bit of bleed on the back but actually this isn't that bad this paper is legitimately terrible so that's actually not bad performance at all and it's performed well on pretty much every other thing that i've tried this ink on uh, as far as qualities of course shimmer and sheen in abundance and uh how do what are my comments on this i i like this ink a lot actually it is a little bit on the pricey side at 25 bucks for a 30 mil bottle this puts it up in the same range as some of the more expensive japanese inks and that sort of thing but uh, this is a very interesting ink and um, kind of unique in my experience. You actually see on the bottom of the bottle here a little bit of that shimmer uh, that hasn't uh, uh, stayed in circulation. You just kind of give it a little bit of a, a little bit of a shake. I actually haven't had any problems getting uh, getting the, the shimmer in this pen. Uh, it's not stopped up. It doesn't seem to have uh, settled anywhere. And in fact, if you look at the if you look at the converter, I don't even see the shimmer like sitting on the side of the converter or anything. And usually you can kind of see that. So uh, interesting stuff. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how it stays suspended, but it seems to do uh, to suspend itself pretty well. Okay, let's do a water drop test. Then we'll take a look at chromatography and a whole bunch of inks that I pulled that have got something in common with this or don't, but I thought people might be interested to see what they look like anyway. All right. 
Get a little bit of a shake. I'm not really expecting any kind of uh, real permanence here, uh, but we'll you never know. We'll just see what we get here. <laughs> it's kind of unreadable now. You can't read that top bit at all, but um, we'll see what happens when you blot the, the ink away. It was kind of more water than I thought I'd put down there, but you know, that's it's how it goes. All right. Interesting. So a whole lot of this came up uh, and then some more over here, but uh, a lot of that came up on the paper or on the, the paper towel, but there actually is a little bit of like a lavender left behind. Uh, I don't have, I don't see any, where's the shimmer? I don't know. It's too small. It's uh, probably too wet and I can't really see it yet. Uh, but it did, uh, it did leave a behind a, a, a sort of lavender remnant that I think you can read. So that's pretty good. That's almost water resistant. At least part of it is. Now, the rest of this is going to make a big mess. <laughs> like, that's going to get all over your business papers. But uh, you can still read it. So if you can still recover your work, that's pretty good. All right, here is the chromatography for this ink. And you can see it started here, and that's where all the shimmer stayed down here at the bottom. Shimmer doesn't really move with chromatography, just the ink does. And uh, you can see down here is that lavender that stayed behind on the other paper. And uh, up here is all that uh, that magenta and such that I wiped off with my handy dandy paper towel here. So yeah, not a huge surprise. Actually, what we got kind of looks like this. This stayed behind, that went away. So pretty neat. Okay, so let's look at a whole bunch of ink samples here or ink swatches here because uh, there's a lot to see. Okay, so uh, this is what this ink generally looks like, which is dark, uh, sheeny, shimmery, pretty cool holiday ink. Uh, I used it on some things over the holidays. And so I thought it'd be fun to, uh, to compare it to some other inks from the holidays sets. Uh, this is Diamine's Happy Holidays, which, is the, which was day 25, the full bottle from Inkvent last year. And this has a red sheen and it's a blue ink, but it's also got kind of maybe bluish shimmer in it. And so it's got some of the same look going on there, although this tends to be a lot more gold because of that, uh, that sheen. Then we have here Diamine Winter Miracle, which is a gold sheening uh, sort of purpley color, although a much darker base color, I think. You can see the magenta here, and there's this is a, a purple. But then it's got gold sheen and a little bit of shimmer, and I can't really detect what color the shimmer is there for sure, but it might be similar. Then uh, I, I grabbed some that were kind of close to the base color. I was thinking the Sailor Manio Kuzo might be fairly close um, down here and here, but this is much more red uh, when you put it next to it. Likewise, Colorverse Purple Cosmo, I thought might be kind of similar uh, because I was thinking of these colors right here, but uh, this one actually goes more pink than the Hipponoto does. Then uh, Sailor Manio Akebi, uh, which I think is pretty cool, also does kind of match this. They're both kind of magenta. Uh, it turns out, and this one also has a gold sheen. So if you're looking for an ink that's going to show more of the base color, maybe this is the way to go. But uh, this one has a lot of cool stuff going on for it. So it's probably going to be an ink that you're not going to use all the time, but sometimes. And then this one is Sailor number 435 from the Sailor Ink Studio uh, set. And I think this is actually fairly close if you look at the base color. Uh, then, uh, oh, <laughs> did I just... Yeah, I got I have two samples of the same thing. Cool, good job, Mike. They still look the same. Then uh, this is Aurora Purple, which I think looks kind of like this. It's a bit brighter though, and of course it lacks the sheen and uh, shimmer of the Kiwi Hippo ink. Then uh, Monteverde Gratitude, which I I don't think I've actually used this one yet from the Emotions set, but it's pretty close as well to this base color. So if you want just pure base color, Monteverde Gratitude is probably going to be the ticket for you. And then just because I thought uh, people might say, well, it looks a lot like dark lilac. Uh, it's, it's not, it's not the same, but it's a little bit similar. This definitely goes more violet, whereas this goes magenta. It's got more of a pink hue, even as a base. But once you get the sort of the, the core colors, yeah, it might kind of, it might be kind of the same. Although this doesn't have shimmer, it's got a lot of sheen and it tends to get really dark. And I think you get some of that look here, although the ink is legitimately much more magenta. Uh, and then lastly, how's this one look here? Yeah, this is actually pretty close. This is Pelican Violet. Uh, and I got this in ink drop in 2014, which is a long time ago. Uh, I think Pelican Violet is, of course, more violet than this magenta, but it's in the same sort of area. Uh, and again, we're just like looking at this little tiny corner here because that's the closest we got, right? 
Okay. All right. So thank you very much for checking out this video. Uh, I hope you'll check out this Hippo Noto Kiwi Ink. And thanks again to Hippo Noto for sending this out uh, for me to check out and share with folks because this is a very cool ink. And I don't know that I probably wouldn't have tried it otherwise because purple isn't really my jam. But darn it, I like that ink in this pen. It's I've filled this up at least twice with this ink. So uh, check this out on uh, the key the Hippo Noto.com site where it is 25 bucks for this 30 mil bottle. Uh, and check out Kiwi Inks for. Uh, making your own ink or seeing what else they have because they have some cool stuff too I think uh, we'll probably be seeing more from them in the future although I don't have any yet I'm looking forward to get some more kiwi in my life alright we'll see y'all later peace out